If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn K6 series. In this episode 8, we are going to see about metrics and result output in K6. We have already seen something basics about metrics in our previous videos. By default, K6 will display all the built-in metrics in the console output. But if you want to keep a track of your custom requirement, then you can create custom metrics. After the test is done, you can see the built-in metrics such as VUs, VUs underscore max, iterations, and whatever the metric name starting with HTTP underscore requests. So those are built-in metrics in K6. How to create custom metrics then? There are four types of metrics available in K6. First, you have to import the library K6 slash metrics. And based on your requirement, you can create either counter, gauge, rate, or trend. By defining a constant variable and by creating a new object of uh, whatever the metric type you want, then you need to use the add method to it. So this will keep a track of your custom metrics and then you can see the output once the test is done. Apart from metrics, today we are going to see about how you can stream the results to the various outputs. By default, as you know, K6 displays everything in the console output, but if you want to push it to say uh, Grafana or K6 Cloud or AWS CloudWatch, you can do that. Or if you want to export the results in a simple format like CSV or JSON, it is also possible. Now let us go with the quick demo and understand about metrics and how you can publish the results to the K6 cloud. So this is our simple K6 script, which we are going to demonstrate the custom metrics as well as the streaming the results to the K6 cloud. In line number five, we are importing K6 metrics counter, gauge, rate, and a trend. And in line number 13 to 16, we are defining a constant variable for our custom metrics. So the constant variable name is custom trend, counter, gauge, and rate. And also to display it in the K6 console output, we are giving a name, custom underscore duration, custom underscore counter, custom underscore gauge, and custom underscore rate. This section, we will be seeing when we are publishing the results to the K6 cloud. And inside the default function, we are just sending a simple HTTP URL and we are just checking the status code, whether it is equals to 200 or not. And then we are making the uh, response.timings object here. So if you want to uh, display or manipulate some of the HTTP metrics inside your K6 code, then you can leverage the response.timings object. Here we are displaying the response time of the HTTP request using the timings dot duration. So this is nothing but equals of HTTP underscore request underscore duration in our K6 console output. And we are adding this particular metric to our custom trend, which is also gets displayed in our K6 console output. Now let me just uh, comment this code because we are not going to see at this moment. And let us execute only this particular section. So now I'm going to bring up the terminal and I'm going to just execute the uh, metrics outputs demo. So this script will execute one view and for about five seconds. So typically it will go up to five iterations. As you see here, so these are called built-in metrics. So whatever you see, which is starting from HTTP underscore rec, so these are uh, built-in metrics and our custom trend, which is nothing but the custom underscore duration. So here you are seeing the custom metrics. So the trend means it will calculate the statistics. So it will display the average, minimum, median, maximum and the percentile of 90 and 95th percentile of response time in milliseconds. And if you keep scrolling, you can see other built-in metrics as well. So this is our trend metric because in our code line number 43, we are just adding the custom trend. Next, we are going to see about counter. So in line number 14, we have a 
custom counter so counter what it will do is it will keep adding your values and then it will display it in your k6 console so now if you see my comment in line number 46 which is nothing but the sum of all values for each iteration so this is the catch so you need to make sure the custom counter will be for all of your values sum of all values for each iteration so now let me just uncomment uh, this section and we are going to execute the k6 script so now the custom counter will sum up all the values for each iteration and then it will display the final output so here the custom underscore counter value is 30 basically 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is 6 and 5 iterations so 6 multiplied by 5 equals 30 so that is why we are seeing 30 value here so this is the counter type next we are going to see rate so rate which will be very helpful if you want to display whether the particular uh, manipulation is pass or fail and the percentage so in this case one means true and zero means false so here we have four different types of uh, values getting added and one and true makes 50 percentage and false and zero make another 50 percentage and in line number 16 we have the custom rate so now if i uh, go to the terminal and if we execute this script in the performance statistics you can see the custom rate so right now you are seeing 50 percentage so 10 as pass and 10 as fail so if you want to manipulate something for your uh, rate then you can use the rate type of custom metrics next gauge so gauge will display only the last value along with minimum and maximum so like other uh, types of uh, custom metrics so line number 58 and 59 and 60 we are just adding uh, 1 5 and 10 respectively now if we execute this particular script you can see the gauge value as 10 and also it will display the 1 and 5 as well so here you can see custom underscore gauge which is 10 and minimum is 1 and maximum is 10 so these are the four types of metrics available in k6 so now how we can publish or visualize the results in a meaningful way so that we can take some decisions so this is great whatever we are seeing in the console output but sometimes you need to deep dive into more metrics or if you want to compare between multiple runs create some trend report so those things needs some effort but k6 makes our life easy using their offering k6 cloud just go to k6.io and sign up for a free account so i have already logged in into my k6 account and whenever you click on your first project it will automatically displays these steps so first you need to log in using your uh, token or username and password and then you need to add this particular configuration so this is for my project so it will be unique for me but if you are creating something for your needs then you need to copy exactly the project id so now first let me log in by using this uh, token so this token will be regenerated so do not worry do not try to use this it will not work for you now let me uh, go to the terminal and let me clear my screen and paste the token so now i have successfully logged in and i have already configured my uh, project id so this is our project id and the name matrix outputs demo and first step is to publish the results so there are a couple of ways so we are going something very uh, easy so i am going to execute uh, k6 uh, cloud and then if you go to the uh, your instructions here also you can see so k6 cloud and your script name so this will execute your test in the cloud but if you want to locally run and stream it to the cloud then you can use the run command so first we will go with this one the k6 run so that we can see the output here and also the results will be streamed to the k6 cloud so k6 run and uh, output will be cloud and our script name and if you hit enter 
So this will execute locally and stream the results to your dashboard. So now our execution is done. Now let us go back to the K6. So now you can see it is automatically the screen has gone and it is displaying our matrix outputs demo. So now if you just click on this and here you can see the status finalizing the test. So it takes a couple of seconds to get it ready. So now it is finished. Just click on the uh, status and here you can see the graph. So just wait for a couple of seconds here. Uh, you will get it. And at the bottom you can see the URL and uh, the iteration count, the status, minimum response time, average, standard deviation, uh, P95, percentile response time and maximum response time, everything. And here if you just uh, toggle on and off or let me just go back and come again it should display the uh, graph so now we are seeing the uh, beautiful graph so this is how you can stream your uh, results from local to k6 cloud so next i'm going to uh, go back to my uh, console and i'm just going to use k6 cloud and the uh, script name so this will upload the script it will execute then it will display the result in your dashboard. So you can see the output. So this is the uh, link. And if you just uh, click on this link, it will uh, take you to the uh, page where it is uh, displaying the uh, status. So now the same test is being executed and in runtime you can view here. And uh, again, there are a lot of things to go, but this is how you can uh, stream the results either running locally or you can just upload it and then you can run it in your k6 cloud account so that's it guys from my side if you have any questions please let me know and thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel